Welcome back. Joining us on the show to start off the show today, we have Jess Rothenberger and Teresa Klein. It's great to have you guys back on the show. It's been a long time since you've been on. True enough. Yeah. And you've been on a few times this year already. Absolutely. It's Very great. lucky. Great to have you on. Switching gears, though, today in regard to what we're talking about, we're talking about a situation in Nicaragua uh, that the two of you have shed a ton of light on because you've produced a documentary, written a book. It's called Gringos in the Garbage. Maybe you can explain that to us. Gringos in the Garbage, yes. My friend Warren and I, who's the author actually of the, of the, of the book, um, we lived in a garbage dump for two weeks in Nicaragua and we filmed it and we gained the community's trust and in so doing got some incredibly compelling stories that shed light on survival on a garbage dump in Nicaragua. How many people are living in this garbage dump? Well, it's actually a garbage dump, a cemetery and a leaky sewage treatment plant. And there's a community of about 1,500 people that live right in the middle, originally who were refugees from Hurricane Mitch and generations later they're still there and they eke out a living um, scavenging for recyclables that they sell to other markets. So It's unbelievable to people in our first world life that we live here that this is going on. This is a whole community. Absolutely. It's amazing to me yeah. and they're happy I bet, aren't they? I would say they find happiness they in their find own way happiness. and they find contentment. They're very um, spiritual people. They mm -hmm. rely on their faith quite heavily to get them through. But um, I would encourage people to watch the documentary. We explore that theme quite a bit. Like, how, how is it that one finds um, contentment when their life is a daily struggle to survive? And we are not going to watch the whole movie, but we do have the uh, snippets of it that we would like to show right now, uh, just to awesome. show uh, what's been going on down there and the fact that Jess uh, is actually heading back. So we can take a look right now. How do they do it? Like, how do you earn a living picking through a garbage dump? I'm on my way to work for the first day in the, in the rubbish. It's taken us about half an hour. We kind of hovered a bit, talked, explained what we were doing, and then it's like we got in there, and now they're laughing, and kids are asking me to help them already. These are the cliffs that tend to fall down on people as they're working down in this river. This is dangerous. Yeah. This ground's on fire, by the way. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> It's just such a huge eye-opener to see this, to see what's going on down there. You can tell somebody about this, but to actually be there is something completely different. Very interesting that they took you under their wing and said, you are welcome to be here with us. Absolutely, they did, yeah. It was a, it was a real privilege for us to, to be there. What is your hope in airing this documentary? I understand you've uh, submitted it to a film festival. Yes, um, we're also gonna release independently here in February. What, it, what is your hope with that? What, it, what do you want people to understand? I just want people to take the opportunity to think critically about the world they live in, uh, to connect the dots. We're not on a mission to make people feel guilty or want to, mm -hmm. you know, become a monk and sell all the earthly goods. It's just an opportunity, I think, for people to just be aware of um, what the world's really like and make, make, find their own meaning out of that. And ideally, ultimately, as well, if anyone is encouraged to want to contribute to the good works that we're doing down there, that would be amazing as well. Of course, and I would like to hear about some of the good works you're hoping to do. There are a few fundraisers locally uh, that you're, you're having uh, towards the, what, sometime in the next month or so. Yes, we have one coming up Saturday at the Grotto, and we are doing kind of a pre-release of the video because it's not finished yet, so it's kind of a director's version, I guess you'd call mm -hmm. it. And we're having a party at the Grotto, so doors open at six, and it's do by donation at the door. And then we also have one coming up at Harper's Trail Winery on February 13th. That's $15 in advance. You can contact me or Jess on Facebook or we're easy to find and buy tickets from there and you can put, get on a guest list because only 100 people can show up at that one. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be showing the videos and then having kind of a question and answer period afterwards. And, getting people involved. And the cool thing about this is when you do donate, we've already built a number of houses due mm -hmm. to a government program there with private sponsors. Yep. So we'll be down there watching people moving into their houses. It'll be very exciting. And people can come on trips as well. Mm -hmm. Jess puts on these trips once a year where we take a group to Nicaragua, mm -hmm. we show them around, have some fun, go volcano surfing, hang mm -hmm. out at the beach, and then come meet the people in the community. 
which yeah. I think that's amazing. Uh, so it can be as hands-on for somebody as they want it to be. If they want it to get really real, they can go down there and see this, but uh, at the very least, uh, fundraising, uh, a couple of fundraisers you just discussed. Realistically, what are you hoping to do with that money? How, I mean, you can't change their entire world, but you're hoping to make some changes. Um, well, one very tangible thing that we've been doing is we bring food packages. We go there, and with such a little amount of money, we can uh, nourish so many families which is a tangible, specific thing that we like to do. But also, uh, Teresa and I are going to be going down in March and take some time to do some community visioning, some uh, leadership mentorship. Um, we're going to do some census. We're going to get some, some pictures and just actually spend some structured time with the community leaders. We're trying to develop their own capacity to implement their own development projects mm -hmm. rather than just come in and say, oh, here's this for you or that's that for you or sure. here's food. We really want to start uh, a long-term... Oh, there's my Apple Watch. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's out of our times. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time. Actually, yeah. we are close to being out of time. Uh, just the last thing I wanted to ask you, you guys are very matter-of-fact about this, but right. I can't imagine being down there. D does this not get emotional for you, being down there and seeing what's going on? I mean, I, I think for me it would be hard to, to handle that emotionally. It can be, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, be, yeah. Well, why don't you speak to that? Because you've mm -hmm. had a chance to visit a couple of times. Mm -hmm. so I'd be interested to... Um, yeah, I gotta admit, I made a video called Tearjerker and I put pictures and images of us feeding the kids to um, I Want to Know What Love Is by uh, Foreigner or Journey, mm -hmm. is it? I, I saw some of that online. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I, I cry whenever I see it. Sure. So, yeah, it does get emotional, but it's not, like, super sad emotional. It's, no, like, it's happy inspiring. because it's... I don't feel like... I don't feel unempowered anymore like I used to when I traveled around the world and there was nothing I could do about it. We're actually down there doing something about mm -hmm. it. Yes. So it's yeah. a powerful, Good. awesome experience. I'm glad to yeah. hear that. Totally. Thank you for sharing. Uh, you know, five to six minutes doesn't really do it justice, but uh, this is a great topic, and I think it's fantastic what you guys are doing to make a difference a world away. And by going down there, you're bridging that gap. Love the phone. I know. Was <laughs> the, uh, watch. It's all good. Uh, information on the screen, though, if you would like to learn more as well, you can find both of these individuals, Teresa the Traveler, Jess Rothenberger, on Facebook. Very easy to find if you'd like to learn more about those fundraisers. One of them this Saturday at the Grotto. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us.